Hi, I'm Richard Walker of Dakota Starry Nights, and thanks for tuning into my channel. I'm the creator of the motorized Zummel Dobsonian telescope featured in the video, Ideas for Motorizing a Dobsonian Telescope. I've received quite a few requests for plans on how to construct the motorized Dob, so I thought I'd put together the images I took during construction to assist anyone wanting to take on the project. I want to point out, however, this is not intended to be a step-by-step -step outline, but rather a generalization of the process. If you possess some good mechanical and crafting skills, you should be able to take it from here. So let's begin. Here are some of the key components for building the motorized DOB. First we have the Dayton gear motor for the altitude drive, servo motor for the azimuth drive, pinion gear for the altitude and azimuth motor, the hub gear for the altitude drive, and the gear rack for the azimuth drive, aluminum band for mounting the gear rack to the bottom of the DOB platform for the azimuth drive, and a pair of bolt latches used to lock the azimuth motor to the gear rack. You'll also need an assortment of miscellaneous bolts and wiring, but this should get you started. Most of these items were purchased at servocity.com, and I'll have a somewhat limited materials list at the end of the video. The first thing you'll need to construct is the clamp block used to attach the altitude gear hub to the altitude bearing on the Zummel telescope. For this I used a piece of ash, but any hardwood will do. Then attach the block clamp to the telescope's altitude bearing. This shows the block attached with a lock pin through the telescope altitude bearing and clamp block. Once the clamp block is attached to the telescope, you then attach the altitude gear hub to the clamp. For the gear hub, I use two hubs fastened together in order to provide enough gear surface to lessen the chance of stripping. The next step is to provide a way for the Dayton gear motor to slide into the altitude motor support housing. For this, I used a pair of modified door hinges bolted to the motor. The support housing is made of hardwood and allows you to slide the motor up to engage the altitude wheel hub or down to disengage the motor for altitude hand operation on the Dobsonian telescope. Here is a close-up of the pin that locks the altitude motor in the engaged position. Now let's take a closer look at the azimuth motor. Here we see the azimuth motor in the disengaged position fastened to the Dobsonian upper azimuth board. A pair of bolt lock latches are used to engage the motor to the gear rack. And a door butt hinge is used to allow the motor support strap to move up or down. The azimuth motor is fastened to a wood framing steel strap connector bent at a 90 degree angle. A variety of steel wood framing connectors are readily available at building supply stores, but any suitable steel strap will do. Next is the construction of the azimuth track. Here is a close-up of the bottom board.
In order for the azimuth track fasteners to clear the upper board of the Dobsonian mount, a spacer is made by gluing several strips of wood veneer ripped from a three-quarter inch thick hardwood board. A pin nailer or staple gun holds the strips in place as subsequent layers are added until the glue sets. To ensure the precise alignment of the gear track to the aluminum band support, a woodblock spacer is used. The track is then clamped, drilled, and fastened to the aluminum band. The wood spacer on the bottom board of the Dobsonian mount is marked in a similar fashion, utilizing a wood block spacer. This mark will serve as a guide for the proper installation of the aluminum band supporting the azimuth gear track. The majority of components used in the construction of the motorized Dobsonian mount can be found at servocity.com. Well, there you have it. Good luck and clear skies.